हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अदिति सापोवडिया वर्किंग एज पीडियाट्रिक ऑप्थलमोलॉजिस्ट एंड स्क्रीन सर्जन इन नेत्रदीप आई हॉस्पिटल राजकोट सो टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एम्ब्लायोपिया और लेजी आई सो वॉट इज एम्ब्लायोपिया इट इज अ रिड्यूस्ड विजन इन वन और बोथ दी आईज विदाउट एनी ऑब्वियस एबनॉर्मेलिटी इन द आई इट इज मोस्टली डेवलप्ड इन अर्ली लाइफ It is one of the most common cause of visual impairment in the children. It generally develops from birth up to 7 years of age. So, to explain you in simple terms, normal child or the normal individual can read up to 7 lines in a vision chart. That is normal vision 6 by 6. But the amblyopic child cannot read all the 7 lines even with the proper pair of glasses. So, I will explain you today how it happens. The eye may look normal to you, but the actual problem is eye and brain does not work together. Amblyopia develops early in the life when visual pathway is developing. So because of the underlying cause, abnormal visual stimulation develops and that hampers the vision development in a child. So when the child has amblyopia in one eye, the brain tries to get input from the other eye that is the healthy eye and hence the input from the amblyopic eye is reduced which leads to the weaker vision in the amblyopic eye so if the eye is not stimulated properly the nerve cells responsible for the visions are not matured properly so what are the causes of lazy eye or amblyopia so as i mentioned earlier child's vision develops during first 6 years of life so anything that interferes or obstructs vision development during this period causes lazy eye so most common causes for lazy eyes are first squint here both the eyes are not in the same direction This is called strabismic amblyopia. Second, refractive or anisometropic amblyopia. Here, one or both the eyes cannot focus clear image to the retina. That is, one or both the eyes may be myopic, hyperopic, or astigmatic. This is the most common type of lazy eyes seen in the OPD, and it is mostly accidental finding during routine checkup. third is deprivation amblyopia here anything that causes obstruction for the light to pass to the retina causes this type of amblyopia for example congenital cataract congenital ptosis corneal dystrophy etc this type of amblyopia needs very aggressive and urgent treatment other factors which may predispose to the development of lazy eyes are premature birth family history of lazy eyes GDD etc so how do you know whether your child has amblyopia or not so most of the children does not have any complaint or any signs suggesting of lazy eyes however some children may do have shaking of the eyes squinting of the eyes or poor vision which may require eye checkup so how do we come to know whether your child has lazy eyes or not So most of the time lazy eyes are accidental finding during routine checkup after complete refraction and complete eye checkup a doctor can diagnose whether your child has lazy eyes or not so how do we treat lazy eyes with early diagnosis and treatment lazy eyes can be improved but first it is very important for the parents to understand why do we need to treat your child for the lazy eyes so if amblyopia is not treated your child will have visual impairment or he will be unfit for any fitness which requires normal vision or 6 by 6 vision for example getting license any government job or any college admissions where 6 by 6 vision is required So if the amblyopia is not treated on time your child will be visually unfit for the rest of their life so do not take it lightly treating amblyopia is not an easy job it is hard for both parents as well as children emotionally and also time consuming 
so you have to be mentally prepared for the same but also the results are good and worthy as it is life changing for your child also some parents do misunderstand that treating lazy eyes will reduce the glass power but it is not the case glass power will change according to the type of the refractive error treating lazy eyes will not affect the glass power so finally how do i treat lazy eyes if the underlying cause for the lazy eye is a refractive error then definitely prescribing glasses or constant wear of glasses will help in improving lazy eyes if the underlying cause is squint then prescribing glasses and squint surgery is required followed by amblyopia therapy if required traditionally and most effective way for managing lazy eyes which i also recommend is patching so what is patching in patching we close the good eye and force the poor eye to see for few hours in a day this method gives the best result if done correctly so here we use patch to close the good eye there are two advantages of this patches the first is it is thick so it obstructs the light to pass to the eye and hence obstructs the stimulation of the good eye also it sticks to the all the sides and hence child cannot do cheating from the sides while doing the exercise others use handkerchiefs tissue papers opaque glasses for the exercise however in this cases children do cheating by seeing through the sides and also light can pass through the sides hence we does not get result in this cases the timing for the patching is prescribed depending upon the density of lazy eyes and it may take few months to recover from the lazy eyes the other method is penalization which is an older method and is not done nowadays recently we have many advanced technologies for the treatment of amblyopia there are various software based programs in the form of ga- games available in the platforms like ipads laptops cds etc which works on the principles of binocular vision and they claim to improve vision we recommend every child to undergo a routine eye checkup at an age of 3 to 5 years or a preschool as a screening tool to avoid a delay in diagnosis and treatment of amblyopia as it is a major cause of visual impairment in a child so if you have any queries regarding amblyopia or lazy eyes you can comment here or you can visit our hospital for more information stay tuned with netradipai hospital thank you for watching our video